Hey, you guys, it's Gucci. It's your boy, Esha K Dot, the first black super saiyan to arrive on this planet. Your boy K Dot. I'm gonna do this video for you guys because I knew my sus suspicions about Captain Marvel was gonna be right. I knew my suspicions about Captain Marvel would have been right. And they were right. I knew they were right. And now, this had made the MCU timeline further crazy. Look, I tried to give Thor and Odin the benefit of the doubt for not killing Thanos before Iron Man 1. I tried to give them the benefit of the doubt for Thanos being alive before Iron Man 1. I tried to give them the benefit of the doubt. I gave them the benefit of the doubt of saying Odin probably didn't care about Thanos because Thanos was nothing in his domain that he wanted to deal with. That's the only excuse I can see from Odin. Him just being ignorant to the fact that Thanos is going around killing half of, half of people on different planets, yada yada yada. Cool. Cool. I would I was giving him that benefit. Okay. There's a problem here with Captain Marvel. Now with their whole from what I see from the end of Captain Marvel, they're clearly trying to go get other scrolls and regroup with them and bring them together. Hopefully they explain this in Endgame because Endgame is about to be trash. I'm telling you this much now. Endgame they're going to end up letting Captain... Cap, this is this is how Endgame is going to be trash. And I'll tell you this much. Captain Marvel, she's not needed. She's not wanted. She's trash in her comics. And she's trash in her movies. She has more than seven reboots in her comics in one decade. Seven... More than seven reboots of her comics in one decade. And that's successful? I don't know about that. Seven reboots in one decade for one character. Rehashes. Changes. That's not good. That's you trying to have to change it up every single time so you make the fans happy one way or another somehow to make this character pop. And it ain't popping. I didn't like her in Civil War 2. I don't like how she acted. The way she, uh, she she took that Inhuman, tried to use her powers, tried to use that Inhuman's powers and abuse his powers to go lock up people before the crime was even committed and lock up people before they had any recollect they had any, any idea of any crime happening. She was going to lock up Miles Morales based on based on a prediction that the Inhuman made about Miles Morales killing Cap. Trying to arrest Miles Morales before he even committed a crime or even thought about committing a crime. What the freak? Nah, that's that's like some dictator type of shit. Captain Marvel in this film, she is not a hero. Do not see her and tell me that she's a hero. She is not. For one. She stole a motorcycle from a civilian that a hero is meant to protect. Whether or not that civilian is hate hates her or likes her. She's supposed to protect them because it's a civilian, right? She stole his motorcycle and, mind you, didn't return it at all. She stole his motorcycle, took it all the way to some other place outside of L.A. So deep outside of L.A. It was like in the fucking desert and stuff. Deep, deep outside of L.A. Left his motorcycle there. So she committed a crime. And then she went to talk to Nick Fury inside a bar trying to explain to Nick Fury, I'm not a scroll. I, I, I shoot these photon blasts and scrolls can't do it. Which was also dumb because Nick Fury is looking, looking at her and like, okay, let's work together. She showed you a photon blast. You don't know that scrolls can do it. Come on, you're just going to assume this year she can do a photon blast and you talk to her just a little bit. She's not an enemy. Cool. Um... And then we get to how she destroyed that man's jukebox inside of his bar. So basically, she vandalized somebody's property when she could have easily said, Hey, Nick Fury, come outside. I want to show you something amazing that I can do that you, no other scroll can probably do. Then she could have shot the photon blast outside. But no. No. She ended up shooting this man's jukebox and ruining his property. So she made another civilian's life even worse than it already is. So now this man who works at this bar has to go... Get the get buy get, buy another jukebox for his bar to to entertain people. Come on now, a hero is not supposed to make people lives worse; supposed to make them better. The fact, and but this is the the big issue. So basically, Captain Marvel has been around in the universe for a while. Now this is this is the the, the problem with this movie because this is why this movie's trash and it makes no sense within the MCU. So characters like Goose the Cat, who ate, a, ate an Infinity Stone, who ate an Infinity Stone, 
was not in Avengers 1, Avengers 2, Avengers 3, Civil War, and even any of the Avengers movies. Because I'm going to tell you this much. If Goose the Cat can eat a bunch of Kree soldiers, right, and an Infinity Stone, and still have this infinite black hole of a stomach, where was, where was Goose the Cat at helping out the Avengers in Avengers 1? Goose the Cat could have probably ate a Chitauri ship and been perfectly fine. Let's not forget, did Goose the Cat not eat two Krees and he was perfectly small and fine? He can eat a Chitauri ship and it, his, his stomach will be perfectly fine. He ate the Tesseract and his body shape didn't change or nothing. He was still a small, tiny cat. So this OP cat that ate an Infinity Stone and coughed up like a hairball was not there in Avengers 1? Helping out the Avengers? Huh? Because pe people hype up the MCU saying, oh, they're perfect. They right. They, 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 this is all part of the plan. This wasn't part of the plan because it makes no sense. If Captain Marvel came out in phase one or phase two, I would have gave it that benefit, but this makes no sense. Goose the Cat has been in Nick Fury's possession ever since Captain Marvel to now. Don't get me started on how, how Nick Fury lost his eye and lies about it for years now. But let's talk about what the issue with Captain Marvel and Thanos. So Thanos has been publicly, and before the events of Iron Man 1, publicly, this is public, not privately, publicly, going from planet to planet to planet to planet, killing half of people on each planet, right? This this was no public, this was no private expedition that Thanos was doing. Word of Thanos doing this will reach other planets. People are like, oh man, Thanos is blowing my planet. Send this distress signal to the next planet. Watch out, Thanos is coming. Okay. This is why the MCU further makes no sense. So Captain Marvel, this OP character. Let's talk about Captain Marvel's power set, which makes no sense. So she so this explosion blew up in her face, and you're gonna tell me her body took the effects of the explosion and she, she survived her body just absorbed the power of the explosion and she got superpowers it just how what made her body so special to absorb the power of an infinity stone and uh, an explosion at that what made her body so special hmm? i don't know all I know is that uh, the shit's retarded. She also learned how to fly. But mind you, who told her she can fly? She, all she did was fall. <laughs> falling like she was some... I'm not going to say it. She was falling. <laughs> she closed her eye. She believed. I believe I can fly. And she flew. She flew. I believe I can fly. <laughs> I believe I can touch the sky. But they should have played that song. That would have been perfect. It would have made that scene even funnier. So she basically fell. She had no idea or even... Who, who indicated to her that she can fly? <laughs> who told her? What made her think? Oh, I can shoot blasters. I can probably fly. Raw. How did she assume that she can fly? See... This is the difference between Man of Steel and, and and Captain Marvel. In Man of Steel, his dad actually explained to him, son, you can fly within his explanation of his abilities. You can fly. Superman went and tried it. Superman wasn't going around before he, he met his father trying to fly because all he knew how to do was jump high. He didn't think, Maybe, what if I can fly? Because why would he think that? It's like, oh, I can jump high, but I don't know if I can fly. I mean, I, how would I know? Dad had to tell him, son, you can be more. Earth's gravity is weaker than the most. You can do you can do more. And then Superman went and tried it. Captain Marvel. Nobody indicated to her that she can fly, and guess what she does? She ends up flying. Boom. Whoosh. All she did was close her eyes and believe. If that's not Mary Sue, I don't know what is. Captain Marvel, she's a terrible hand-to-hand -hand combatant. How is this going to be the same woman to beat Thanos? So, this is this is just like I thought it was going to be. They're going to beat Thanos with brute force. 
Y'all know those same missile things that she was shooting down in event in, in uh, Captain Marvel? Pew, 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 pew. Y'all remember Thor's hammer from Avengers 1 was taking down Chitauri ships. Was Thor not in Avengers 1 taking down Chitauri ships? Was he not? I mean, you guys. Was Thor not in Avengers 1 blowing? Just in general, look how big Hulk is. And somehow Thanos pulled up in there with no explanation and bodied Hulk and set and bodied Thor just because he has one power stone. But mind you, Thor at this moment still had the Odin Force and was still very powerful. Bodying this dude, look at this, bro. Come on now, come on. You can't tell me Thor don't got the hands, bro. And I'll tell you this much. Captain Marvel, in that first sparring fight with Jude Law, she lost that fight, bro. Y'all want to know how she won the fight? She had to resort to, pshu, Jude Law wrecked her in that sparring match. She is the, she is probably one of the worst hand-to-hand -hand combatant Avengers on the team. I'll tell you this much. If Captain America went head up with her in a sparring match, no powers, well, Cap would have his powers, but sparring match, no powers, she Brie can't use the powers, she got to use her fist, Cap would win that fight easy hands down. Just a battle of fists. If Black Widow went into a sparring match with, with Carol Danvers, this Carol Danvers, no powers, just fist, just fist, hand to hand, Black Widow will wreck her shit. The only person I can see her beating hand to hand on the Avengers team is um, Bruce Banner because he can't fight, period. The only way I can see her winning the fight is if she shoots her little photon blast, pew, and combining that with her fighting style. Pew, pew, pew. Hand to hand by herself, bro. She, she ain't wrecking nothing. She ain't wrecking nothing, bro. Using them powers. She's getting bodied like a mofo. And then she pulls up near the end of the film with her fancy powers. And this is why, I, you know, this is some bullshit. Because I'm over here like Thor and Thor want Thor in um Infinity War has his hammer that went through Thanos' chest and a six Infinity Stone blast, which should have never happened, but it happened. So I'm looking at this, guys. I'm looking at this. This makes no sense. Why is Captain Marvel here? Because she's going to come and body Thanos, bro. She's here for a reason, to come body Thanos. Why is she here, but you got Thor? That's the problem. Thor's hammer is strong enough to go through a six Infinity Stone blast at the same time, and it went through Thanos' chest. Why she needed when Thor can finish a job. This is how, this this is how Endgame should play out, because this time travel stuff is, is stupid. It doesn't need to happen. For one, this is what you need to do. Bruce Banner is very smart, right? Bruce Banner is one of the smartest minds in the MCU. We can agree on that. He's one of the smartest minds. So, what your current Avengers need to do in Thor, since Thor can you know do space travel and stuff with the, using the Bifrost. <laughs> Uh, they should be able to easily, I don't know, find where Thanos is at. I don't think it'll be too hard for them to find where Thanos is at. They're going to go to Thanos. They go to his planet. Beat him up. They All all the current Avengers go team up on him. Boom, boom, boom. Ba, 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 ba. Thor takes the final blow with his hammer, throws it at him. Boom. Thanos goes down. Oh, oh. Bruce, Thor takes the gauntlet off, chops his arm off, takes the gauntlet, takes the gauntlet to Bruce Banner. Say, hey, Bruce, repair the glove, and then I'm going to take, take out the stones. We're going to put the stones in the new glove. I'm going to put the glove on, and then I'm going to snap and undo it. That's It's really that simple. They're doing time travel to make it so extra. It's like, why? You're, you're putting on so much extras for no reason. It's like, why do you got to be so extra? Just do it the simple way. They're they trying to be so extra and try to make a complicated too complex story and they're, they're this is how this is how time travel is going to work in this film bro i'm telling you they're going to undo the snap and i'm going to tell you this the only people that's going to remember what happened with the snap they're, they're, they're going to use time travel to undo the snap the only people that's going to remember the snap is the people who time travel and this is going to be my problem if this is going to be the end of the mc moving forward 
the same way the Avengers wanted Chitauri ship, the the eight the the, the, the Chitauri aliens came to attack, should be the same way for the snap. The snap should be a pivotal point that leads the MCU further, and it should stay. All humans and all beings in space, on this planet and all other planets, should remember the snap. If time travel undoes the snap and all and everybody who encountered the snap forgets it, besides the people who time traveled, I got an issue. Because then, if, if you if you have this snap in place in the universe, you see you see the trauma that's going to do to these to these planets. You may see Earth becoming a totally different Earth. People are going to be probably more reinforced, stricter. You know, they 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 may develop a, a distaste for aliens. You know, because because now we're going to get to a point where possibly aliens could be coming to on Earth and stuff. Probably staying on Earth, and then they're probably not going to be too welcome to it. They're probably going to be like, nah, you know, you 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 aliens, aliens like you are the reason that that pink purple douchebag snapped and killed my daughter in front of me. Because let's not forget, it'll suck if you take away. The fact that you uh, you undo the snap with time travel and every other human, all humans, all of the beings on other planets forget about it, and only the main six Avengers remember it, and then I'm gonna be all like, what the freak, bro? MCU, y'all need to make sure that when you undo the snap, it's not gonna do the time, it's not due to time travel, and that you just undo the snap with means of you're undoing the snap, like you just put the glove on and you undo the snap. Because they didn't do that in the Infinity Gauntlet comic. They just put on a glove and undid the snap. They didn't do time travel to fix everything. So, just do that. Because Captain Marvel's up in here, bruh. And I'm over here like... Thor can wreck her. You guys. What makes her so powerful? Just because she shoots photon blasts? Okay, Thor's hammer went through Thanos' chest. Thor's hammer was also taken out. Those Chitauri ships in Avengers 1 blocking them and come keeping them from coming through the portal. Also, let me show you this here. What was what was Thor doing to Hulk here? This big green idiot. What was he doing to him? Bodying this dude. With these skills. The only reason Hulk won this fight was because the uh the what the Grandmaster took that cop out and went, Oh he's gonna win. Beep! Oh, can't have my champion lose because he cheated. Look at this. Look. Let's look. Let's watch. Look at that. Throwing them hands, bruh. Look at that. Look at this big dude Hulk losing to this tiny being here. And you're telling me this Thor lost to Hulk and lost to Thanos and that just that easily? Come on now. You got you can't be playing with me. Look at that. Look at this. Got him in a choke hold. Man, they made Hulk so trash in the MCU. His power scales is, is inconsistent, bro. Hulk and Iron Man fought. Hulk and Iron Man fought for the first time ever, and Hulk lost to Iron Man. That just made Hulk not the strongest Avenger on the team. Thor's the strongest Avenger on the team. I th I thought Hulk was the strongest Avenger. Now you just took his role from him, bro. <laughs> Iron Man, Iron Man, and, and and Thor are the strongest Avengers on the team. I'm telling you. Iron Man's nanotech suit could body Hulk. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying the facts of what it can do. Look, you guys, Endgame is about to be... Ugh. The MCU... This movie unraveled perfect events in the MCU that would have been set up right. Like, the way the Avengers got their name... Man, they just, they just made... They just made Cap's movie... His first movie irrelevant now he's not the first avenger and when, when they say captain first avenger i mean the first avenger as in nick fury captain america inspired the avengers initiative but that's not the case captain marvel who only knew nick fury for like what to a day she inspired the initiative and he knew her and he he knew her for what a day or two and, and she cares about Nick Fury all of a sudden? And you knew him for a day? Oh my goodness. Who writes this stuff, man? Who writes this stuff? Who writes this? Because I'm over here wondering. Is this serious? 
Then we get to the point where we just let the MCU do anything, and people have gotten to this point. People have gotten to this point where they just let a Guardians movie come out. And let it be all jokes and goofball, dumb, sh dumb stuff. People, people allowed it when Iron Man 3 trolled them with the Mandarin. And you want to know what they said? Now I'm okay with the MCU going forward. It's fine. People accept it when they let Ivan Drago from of Iron Man 2 get hit by a car multiple times. Even in comic book land, that's that's retarded. If a human gets hit by a car in comic book world, they're gonna they're gonna die. But in this movie, this OP human got hit in the legs multiple times and got up and started walking. Look, I'm so I'm totally disappointed in the MCU fan base. The, and there's still so people I heard defending this movie. Now, there's people I heard defending this movie, mainly because they're 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 fans of Carol Danvers for some odd reason. And they're also, and most of them, for a majority, let's be real, is just women going to go see this movie just because she's a woman. I'm going to tell you this much. I didn't go see Black Panther just because he's black. That's the wrong reason to go see the movie. I want to go see it because it's a Marvel movie. Black Panther is dope in the comics. Not just because he's black, but oh my, oh my goodness. He's a black Batman in the comics. He's one of the smartest minds in the MCU. Up there with Reed Richards and them, Tony Stark. It was times in the comments where, where, where he where he usurped and duped Tony Stark. That's the reason I wanted to go see Black Panther. Because I was interested in, yes, his skin factored into it. But that wasn't the whole reason. If I wanted to go see it based on skin color, man, I, 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 I could just want to go see Shaka Zulu. I could just want, I, I, I could have skipped on Black Panther and wanted to go watch Shaka Zulu again. Shaka Zulu's tight. Nah, I wouldn't go see Black Panther because he's black, because he's a superhero, and because he is also, he, he's raw in the comics, bruh. He's a stern G. Y'all remember when, when, uh, when, when he was talking to, uh, some people from, uh, the UN or whatever in the comics, it was a, it was a panel from the comics. They were, they were asking him, can we please use your vibranium? Black Panther had the coldest response. He said, nah, y'all not ready for this vibranium. Y'all don't need it. You're not, you're not worthy of it because I can't trust you with it. But in Black Panther, they twist that. And they have to try to share vibranium with the world. Not only was that a mistake, I would say that was stupid. But hey, people accept it and they take it for what it is. Now, I'm not saying that the MCU needs to be 100% comic accurate because I'm not expecting that. What I'm expecting is you put respect on characters' names and you keep the stuff that makes them tight in G's. When you take away shit like that, you're like, oh my gosh. Same thing for Nick Fury. Nick Fury lost all credit in the MCU because he lost his eyeball to a cat who barely did anything in the movie. People who were saying the cat stole the show I can't trust what you say about films. Because if you say the cat stole the show, that's an issue. I'm going to tell you this much. Brie Larson and Nick Free had more screen time than that cat. So how did the... If the cat stole the show, that's an issue. If the cat stole the show. Brie Larson and Nick Free, who were... Nick Free, Nick Free alone was probably a better actor. If Brie Larson was by herself, she, her acting was horrible in this. But overall, you guys, if that cat stole the show for you, that's an issue for that's an issue. If the cat stole the show. And when you say stole the show, you mean that cat usurped all usurped all usurped everybody in the film. If if you say Brie Larson stole the show, that means Brie Larson stole the show and usurped all the actors on the floor. If you say Leonardo DiCaprio stole the show in uh did Django Unchained, that means he was the best actor by default in that film. And he probably was. He was probably one of the best actors in Django Unchained by default. So they're telling me the cat who barely did anything and ate an Infinity Stone, which shouldn't have never happened. That cat should have been dead instantly eating an Infinity Stone. He ate an Infinity Stone and it was all good. And But this cat sold the show. I don't know how. Did you see... 
that that's when your fanboy kicks in and you're like, oh, this is probably one of the best Marvel movies. It is not one of the best Marvel movies. This is the most boring, terrible, worst Marvel movie ever. And I'm going to tell you this much. This movie is so inconsistent within itself. It's crazy. So you have scrolls that are highly advanced, but they can't find a ship orbiting outside of Earth. You're telling me three humans told, had, to, had to school them on physics in talking about orbit and stuff. And then the scroll even made a comment, a self-aware comment like, so he, the, Talos, the main scroll, talked to another scroll. So uh, we wasn't able to track this. I mean, what's going on? And then ta the other scroll was like, well, I mean, our technology is kind of like, you know, the iffy. You're a freaking scroll. And the fact that they made scrolls good guys in this film that's a problem. I don't want to see no scroll invasion because no scroll invasion makes sense. A Kree invasion, yes, but no scroll invasion. The scrolls are good guys. They respect Captain Marvel. What the freak? Talos is the lead scroll. So why are these scrolls out here being? Uh, why would these scrolls out here come and attack Earth? There's no going to be no scroll. They they ruined scroll invasion. They they ruined secret invasion. They ruined it. They ruined it. You can't do secret invasion now. The scrolls are good guys. Why would the scrolls come and be evil and t come take over Earth? It makes no sense now. It's over. There's no secret invasion. They ruined it. You made the Kree's good bad guys when they're good guys. Captain Marvel was a Kree, sco Kree soldier, which made him a scientist, and you made him a woman. <sighs> Done. Donezo. This movie is a bad movie. This, the script makes no sense. Maria Rambo, who dished her daughter and sent her daughter to go stay with her grandparents... Her, her, her parents, did, did she, she dished her daughter to go on a mission where she could have died and dished her daughter when she was supposed to be with her daughter. So, therefore, bad mom, bad mom, terrible mom, ditching your daughter when you had no business being there and Carol Danvers also being a terrible friend, encouraging her, mo her mother to ditch her daughter to come help her on a mission where she can die. And Carol Danvers being the father figure for Brie Larson. Uh, for Monica Rambo, and Monica Rambo is supposed to be actually not a kid. Monica Rambo is supposed to be pretty older than this, but no, they made her a kid. Brie Larson, I'm gonna say this: if you cared about equality, if you cared about, um, I don't know, you know, people of color, you would have got, you would have said no to this role and told and told Marvel. This is Captain Marvel. She's the first female Captain Marvel. This should be going to Monica Rambo. I will be Miss Marvel. I will not be Captain Marvel. Because this role should go to Monica Rambo, a black woman. If, if, if she wanted to be all POC, people of color, woo, 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 yay, people of color, then she should have ended up, you know, letting a black woman take the role if she cared about equality. People of color getting in place and stuff. But no, Brie Larson, Brie Larson sat there talking about, oh, white man this, white man that. Bringing color into the equation when it shouldn't even be a thing. Okay, Brie Larson, I'll play that game. Let's bring color into the equation. If you, if y'all want to do a, a cat, female Captain Marvel, you should have done Monica Rambo if you want to be real and legit. She, she should be, she should have been straight up Miss Marvel. Like I say, her comics rebooted what more than seven times her comics aren't doing well if you had to reboot your character seven times in within one decade now i'm okay with a reboot a decade but seven reboots in one day oh bro you got some trash on your hands if that's the case oh avengers endgame the hype is low now this universe has lost its credit based off this film because I've been telling people, Marvel has been blindsiding people with jokes, action, weak stories, weak stories. The only good films in the MCU that are 100% legit, and Endgame will be trash. Endgame could be trash if Captain Marvel is up in there. Her presence alone hurts that film. Because the main six Avengers should be the ones defeating Thanos together, and the main six Avengers should be the ones figuring out how to time travel. Scott Lang only gets the benefit of being here because he had two films that established him before Endgame. Scott Lang gets that benefit. Captain Marvel got one film and she's coming here to be 
the goddess that comes save the day. Scott Lang has benefit because he had two films that gave him credit to be here. Even though they were trash, he got two films right before Captain Marvel, right before Endgame and it established him. Captain Marvel got one film, pulls up, steals the role. Brie Larson steals Scarlett Johansson's rightful spot. Then she steals Scarlett Witch's rightful spot for a movie. And she showed up in three films. Scarlett Johansson showed up in more films than Brie and Scarlet Witch alone. And Scarlett Johansson doesn't get a film before Brie Larson. Marvel, you are trash. You're officially garbage. Y'all doing some Star Wars status stuff. Oh my gosh. And people was always talking about, oh, the MCU's perfect, the MCU's this, the MCU's that. Can you, can you stop hyping it up like that and be real? Because I'm be real with y'all. DC ain't DC. The DCEU ain't got it right either. But people bashing on them extra hard. Harder than Marvel. And giving Marvel passes. When Marvel does the same thing that DC does. DC changes characters. But they get on DC harder. Marvel does it. And they're okay with it. That is unfair. That is unfair to the highest degree. That you, people get on DC harder. They get on DC harder. For changing a character. I'm not saying those changes were good, but they do it over here in the Marvel Universe, change a character, and they're okay with it. Come on now. They went ahead and replaced Tony Stark's, replaced Tony Stark's uh, ability, they, they, they replaced Tony Stark's alcoholism with paranoia and PTSD. They, they, they took Hank Pym's rifle moment of, 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 of creating Ultron, when that is Hank Pym's creation, and that was a pivotal point to Hank Pym's character. They also changed Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver's origin. And they're not mutants. They're, they are born of the Infinity Stones. But they're supposed to be mutants. Um, Let's not forget. Let's not forget. Let's not forget. Captain Marvel in, in Captain Marvel is a male Kree soldier. But in this film, they made, her, they made him a female scientist woman. In Avengers Infinity War, they changed up Thanos' origin to Thanos. The only reason Thanos wants to snap half is because his planet is, is his planet dies. But he only snaps half because of his love for Mr.'s death. So, like I say, like I say, DC does the same thing and they get hate for it. Marvel does the same exact thing and people give them a pass. That is unfair. If we're going to keep the same energy, they shouldn't be changing characters, period. But they do. But they do. Now, got to keep that same energy, guys. Got to keep that same energy. Because I didn't accept those changes for Infinity War, what they did to Thanos. They should have kept it Mr. Death, period. Should have kept it Mr. Death. But no. But no. But no. Marvel fans, they'll eat. Marvel fanboys, they eat up anything. And they'll tell you Captain Marvel is one of the best MCU films ever and doesn't deserve the hate that it that is getting. It deserves all the hate that it's getting. We was totally right about what this film is gonna be. Action was boring, shaky cam, that first fight scene was all shaky cam and boring. Weak comedy. Come on, how is it the MCU film with the weakest comedy? My theater was was my theater didn't laugh for ninety eight percent of the film. That's an issue. The story was so boring to the fact where I was like, oh my god, get me out of here. This film is trash, bro. This film is trash. Anyone who tells you this is a good, this is a, look. Anyone who tells you this is one of the best Marvel films, anyone tells you this is a dope film, period. Like, if, if they tell you out of all the, out of all films, I'm not, if this is just a good film in general, I wouldn't say so, man. I wouldn't say so. Because that script is so bad, it's like, it's not even a good film. Plot holes, like, plot holes and inconsistencies, like the Dickens. And that and that, that hurts your story, if that's the case. Bro, this is not a good film overall. That script is very bad. The soundtrack is whack. It should be in female music, but dang. Can you have some, like, more 90s music up in there? Not just female music overall? Like, dang. Have some male, male male, and female music. Some female and male music up in this thing. From the 90s, bro. With that, hit them up, hit them up. Hey. 
if they was gonna play a song for the end where Captain Marvel was gonna be doing the action stuff, they they should have played you know they they should have played the the Tupac hit 'em up instrumental and went pop pop you know what I'm saying? Bro, oh my gosh, oh my god. Uh, should have played that Tupac, man. They should have played Pac. They should have played hit 'em up. Come on now, come on, come on. They had one job to save the day. And they played that weak trash song at the end of her film. This is going to hurt Infinity War bad. This makes... And I said Infinity War was inconsistent and hurt the MCU. Oh my goodness. This film hurts the MCU even worse. Nick Fury's a clown. Captain Marvel's trash. The Avengers, their name means shit, does not mean shit anymore. It's not even dope how they got their name. Goose the Cat, who was there in Avengers 1 and could have easily defeated the, it could have, could have ate all, 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 all the Chachari soldiers, was not there. I'm done. I'm done. I am done, bro. This is trash. Oh my God. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I am so conf wait a minute, wait a minute. In Avengers 1, no, 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 in Captain Marvel, so Howard Stark first had the Tesseract, and then somehow Captain Marvel got it, somehow. And then the Tesseract was, who had the Tesseract after Cap- Okay, Nick Fury had the Tesseract. Was the Tesseract in Thor 1? No, the Tesseract wasn't in Thor 1. I don't think it was. Was the Tesseract in Thor 1? Yeah, the Tesseract was in the first scene. Okay, S.H.I.E.L.D. had the Tesseract. Okay, cool. Okay, 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 cool, cool, cool. cool. S.H.I.E.L.D. had the Tesseract. It's all good. She'll have the test track. It's all good, guys. I'm, I'm not. I'm not tripping. She'll have the test track. Okay, cool. Uh, that makes somewhat of sense, but still, Goose the Cat ate an Infinity Stone and survived. That's crazy. I'm gonna go ahead in this video. There's boy Kate out the first black Super Saiyan to revive on this planet. I'm gonna trim down this video a bit, but uh, deuces. Hold up, the sound. I can't let that bit play with no sound. Let's get it, bruh. Deuces.